So <clears throat> watching that, I'm reacting to that video again because I'm thinking like, you know, man, I got a lot of press from the conspiracy world when uh, I was being probed by the Ohio Attorney General and by the Federal Trade Commission. Okay, I was being probed by those guys. And so I got a lot of attention from the conspiracy anti-government people, like a lot of attention. And so once they finally got my written response to their questions, uh, they're like, oh yeah, it's probiotic. There's nothing dangerous. Um, she really gave as much as she could an explanation of why she made these types of claims. And I heard nothing from the Ohio Attorney General. The only thing I heard from was the Federal Trade Commission saying, hey, you just can't advertise that way. So the only thing I did was break an advertising law. But there was nothing poisonous about JJ's, right? And so there's Judy Mikovits. Okay, I really have to just, you know, she's definitely, definitely just uh, taking advantage of her 15 minutes. But I got to call it out, okay? I mean, the reason why she was arrested was because she stole pri proprietary information, but now she's saying that it was planted there. Now she's saying it was planted there and they arrested her and held her with no charges. And but really, ultimately, what had them drop the charges was the fact that she returned some of the notebooks back. Not all of them, but she returned some of the ones that didn't belong to her. She wasn't arrested for exposing the vaccine industry. No, she was arrested for stealing proprietary information. And then, of course, you know, she figured out how to um, angle her, her, her position as somebody in the industry, as a PhD, -er, to then cater to the anti-vaxxers, cater to the conspiracy community. So she actually is part of the depopulation agenda. See, you know, I never was arrested, but look, I'm calling out parts of the industry. Hey, you know, the, the prescription drugs and the holistic remedies are prostaglandin inhibitors. They cater to your heart disease. Those of you that are practicing the prostaglandin inhibitors with the pills, powder, supplements, and detoxes, and all of your procedures in your cannabis, you're constricting your blood vessels to eventually where you will die from heart failure at some point, if not sooner. And then with the, with these exposures to the viruses, it's going to accelerate the de-evolution process or evolution process for those that don't practice those inhibitor types of agents. So um, I call out the industry in such a way. No, I'm not, I'm not in an actual company. No, I don't have a PhD. But I'm telling you, I'm, I'm substantiating everything I'm saying and I'm using the industry's information against them. Why am I not arrested? Because what I have is not poisonous. Nobody's being harmed. And you think, well, why is she bringing up pain with the J-Juice and, and she's not being arrested for that? Because there's nothing harmful about J-Juice. People have predispositions. People have predispositions that get exposed to vaccines and they have to fix it. It's not the vaccine's fault. It's a person's predispositions because of, the, of their genetic uh, line that they've never corrected as well as their practices. They're taking prescription drugs. They're taking those holistic remedies. They're taking all of these things that are causing more imbalances in their microbiome. And so she was arrested because, yeah, she stole material from freaking her old employer. And now she's capitalizing on spinning that information. She's as evil as they come. She is evil. As, and, and she's part of the depopulation agenda. Because the more you're scared against the vaccines, the more you think there's so much corruption out there. That's what these anti-government groups are doing. They are, they are uh, creating more um, stories to fan the flames of, yeah, there's corruption but not in the way you think. And so um, I have to call her out because people are like, oh no, you, you should pay attention to Judy. No, I shouldn't. The Inca civilization has been around or the Inca civilization had their own pandemics way in the pre-Columbian times, okay? Uh, pandemics have been around ever since man freaking kind. But we have people who are dying off every generation. Nobody is prolonging their life. They're teaching their kids to, uh, to suppress their prostaglandin hormones. And so the kids are going to eventually have heart disease and die at some point. And so there is no long memory of people in our society who uh, will understand that pandemics happen every so often when you have 7 billion people mutating viruses that already exist. Okay, so 
that say they create a vaccine to help those that are freaking weak. The reason why we have vaccines in modern medicine is because we have people who are dying and reproducing. If we didn't have people dying and reproducing and we had people living in indefinitely, very, very healthy, we wouldn't have the need for vaccines. See, that's the whole the whole point that this whole circular, you know, the, the, the problem is a solution. That's why you'll never win in our society. You'll never win in our society as far as you're anti anything is because you don't understand balance. When you're dying and when you're reproducing, you don't understand balance. When you are throwing out baby with the bathwater and you're demonizing anything and everybody, you, you don't have balance. And so, yes, you're going to end up needing the vaccines and inevitably there's going to be some kind of pandemic, whether it's manufactured or it happens organically, you still don't have what it takes to actually upgrade to your current environment. So no matter what, the, 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 the issue, no matter what, will always stand that we're going to have weak ass people who cannot handle anything and they will be the ones to die no matter what, whether it's a vaccine or whether it's a virus in the environment, whether it's been planned or whether it's been organically released, no matter what. And so it's it's like, oh my God, this is just so crazy. The, the world that we live in is so nuts. So I just want you guys to know that um, if you're not doing Julie Juice, you have a short lifespan. If you're not doing Julie Juice, you have a short lifespan and your children will have a short lifespan. It's just the nature, it's the nature of the beast. And, uh, Cause you, cause right now we have kids that are being reproduced on bodies that have not fixed their genetic line. And so the more these viruses mutate and become more rampant and more contagious, the weaker those that are already devolving will become. And so it's going to be, you know, a self-fulfilling prophecy. Those that say, oh, they're planning our demise and they're depopulating us. Well, you're depopulating yourselves because your lack of knowledge, your ignorance is actually destroying your genetic line, destroying yourself. And you know what? That is the true depopulation agenda. The government doesn't have to do a thing. The people will inflict it upon themselves. Okay? The people will inflict their own depopulation. All they're doing is, you know, I don't know. I, they're, I'm beginning to kind of see and articulate what truly is going on. And the problem is the actually the intentional solution. So I, I see what's going on. No matter what problem, whether it's manufactured or organic, the problem is this is a solution. Because no matter what, if you're strong enough to handle the environment, you will survive. If you're not, you won't. And, you know, I believe that, you know, our government is trying to keep us alive. And I believe that um, my society is trying to keep me alive. And guess what? I'm alive. Those of you that believe that the, that the, the, the government is trying to kill you and that your society is trying to kill you, guess what? You're going to, you're going to, honor your own prophecy you have already prophesied your future and people will do that they will create their own future by simply their belief system it's so insane to watch it's so insane to watch it's a trip so um there's really nothing i can say or do i just had to call her out because you know it i just had to it, I, I would feel like remiss if i don't call out judy mikovitz <laughs> <laughs> Bye.